detect and analyze. Yeah. Okay. That's why we use the AI to analyze that, to do that. Mm. Hello everyone! Welcome back to Toshiba TV Stories YouTube channel. I'm an MC, Mare, and... Hiro, the brand manager of Toshiba TV. Today's episode is episode 9. 9. <laughs> Time flies so fast. Yeah, indeed. What's the topic for today? Well, uh, nowadays, our Toshiba TV stories are, have been just, you know, watched by many people in many countries. Oh, wow, thank you so much. And the great thing is, we got many questions. Oh. So we want to just, you know, answer some of the questions. Mm -hmm. And especially, the most frequently asked question. And that is about AI. Oh, AI. AI. It's a very popular topic now, right? Yes, right. I, I assume you explained me about AI feature of TV in episode two, yes. which was about engines. Right, yeah. engines. Yes, you remember that. You remember that? Mm -hmm. Yes. So we're going to just, you know, uh, deeply explain mm. more about the AI today. Sounds exciting. Yeah, so let's go for that. Nowadays, many devices, mm like TVs or smartphones or PCs, anything, mm -hmm. anything actually has some kind of AI features yeah, that is. Sure. Yes, and what do you think mm. the role of the AI oh. in the TV? In the TV? Yeah, in the TV. For me, AI is something that can generate mm. um, illustrations, oh. like human being in characters, oh. in landscape, when we type, you know, like a, oh, yes, as a techist. Yes. Oh. So I assume the TV can, you do know? Do the similar yeah, thing? Yeah, do the wow. generate thing kind wow. of thing. Wow, uh, that's a great thing. Okay. Actually, maybe TV can do that kind of the, the AI generation mm. for the picture things in the near future. Okay. But not now. Mm. Instead, now the TV mm. uh, has an AI feature that can uh, detect mm. something in the picture. Detect. Detect or analyze the characteristics of the pictures okay. or identifying the faces mm. and something like that. So that kind of things AI can do in the TV. Okay, so detect and analyze. Yeah. Okay. So by detecting those, you know, uh, scenes or the persons mm. or characteristics, mm. and then we can apply more optimized picture uh, you know, color corrections or the contrast improvement and things, those kind of uh, uh, picture optimizers and things. Uh, so it can produce mm. more realistic images. Yes. And also that's sound, right. maybe? Yeah. Oh, cool. True. So I, the, I think yes. it's, it sounds similar to tuning uh -huh. that you, you know, like I told me in right, episode right, right. two. Yeah. Yes, you remember that. Yeah. Yes. So AI is also doing the tuning things. Mm. Actually, I want to just tell you, there are two different kind of tunings okay. for the TVs. Mm -hmm. The one tuning is called development time tuning. Development time tuning. Development time tuning, mm -hmm. or I should say the static tuning. Mm -hmm. So what it does is that the picture professionals are going to tune our engines or software to pull out the maximum potential mm -hmm. of the hardware mm -hmm. uh, and to reproduce the great reality. So that's the, that kind of tunings are done in the development time. Mm. In contrast, uh, the, there is another tuning called the dynamic tuning, mm. or uh, what I say, per contents or per room uh, optimization. So it depends tuning. on where we watch it or depends yes. on what kind of content. What kind of content it is, uh, yes. Okay. So that's dynamic tuning mm -hmm. is done by AI. Oh, yes. get it. It is not possible that the, all our engineers go out your house, <laughs> house. or your house, <laughs> each individual house, to tune up mm. for each content or uh. for the loom lighting conditions. Mm -hmm. That's why we need to use the AI. Great, that really yeah. makes sense. Yes, so that's what the AI does. It's cool, isn't it? Yes, yeah. it is. Hiro-san, yes. could you tell me more detail about mm. AI features? Uh -huh. Which is like, uh, what kind of detection does AI can do? Okay, well, I think it's good to see the actual demonstrations. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. going to show you some mm -hmm. of those. 
streaming videos like YouTube mm. uh, has a very high compression yeah. uh, in uh, the streaming. So it sometimes has the uh, the noises like this. Mm. You see the color yeah, steps, clear see. color steps, like in lines over here. This is called the banding noise because you see some kind of banding. And those banding noises are often very disturbing and annoying mm. when you're watching the, the streaming content. Mm. And the, what it, uh, AI does is to detect a person, mm -hmm. main character, and then detect these banding noises. Oh, okay. And then it smoothens only the banding noises. Ooh, cool. Yeah, that's what AI can do. Wow, that's, yes. that's super nice. The next demonstration for the AI mm -hmm. is the uh, AI natural focus technology. AI actually detects the depth of this image. Oh, cool. Yes, and then it also detects a person mm -hmm. in front of the background mm. and then reconstruct the natural depth wow. by using those, you know, analysis data. Ooh, ooh, yes, ooh. cool, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We have more interesting AI features. Ooh. Yeah, it is called AI picture optimization. Hmm. It also detects the face inside the, the, uh, the animation. <gasps> this is animation detect. You see it? Yes. What it does is to smoothen the the banding noises for or the mosquito noises of the animation oh. and then beautify the wow. animation as close as the the original uh, image that the the creator creates mm. and also now ai also get evolved for uh 2024 and it can detect not only the animation but mm. also more detail scenes the new technology can detect the, the boxing scenes, oh. or the football scenes, or the, what do you say, golf scenes. Oh, every, like yeah, almost or, everything. Or, yes, for like <laughs> say covered. fireworks, ah. not just, and the night views. On those kind of very detailed scenes, mm. it can just, you know, detect. It's very impressive mm -hmm. that the AI's evolution mm -hmm. influenced TV itself. Yes, yes. So, yeah, I'm so excited to yes. see what's happening next. Sure, <laughs> sure. That's great mm. about this technology. There is another uh -huh. question from Toshiba TV fan, okay. which was, uh, what's the difference mm -hmm. between Toshiba's TV's AI features mm -hmm. to other brands? Uh, How do you answer that question? Well, it's a really great question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, you know, many brands are now just having the AI features. Yeah. And I can just tell you that Toshiba TV's AI features are for not enhancing the pictures. Mm -hmm but rather for restoring the reality and beauties in the way creator intended. Ah, yes. yeah, that's what you always teach me. Yes, yes. <laughs> that's, the, that's the basic you know, concept for our picture quality. Mm. So we really just you know, want to reproduce uh, the passions oh. or the feelings or emotions that the, uh, the creator want to express through their uh, the works like a pictures. Yeah, so that doesn't mean yeah. that AI changes or you know like no, AI no, no, that's no. different. No, no. Actually, our TV's you know AI feature never enhances the uh, the reality or anything colors mm. whatever, but rather want to just reproduce all the colors, mm. all the the depth and the everything. So it is the most. Uh, difficult things mm. to show what the creators want to show as it is. Yeah, yes. true. <laughs> That's why we use the AI to analyze that, to do mm. that. So AI yes. helps yes. to realize yes. that uh, the creator's expressions. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Thank you very much for explaining AI features of TV today. Very welcome. I've learned a lot and yeah. also I'm looking forward to seeing a new features, mm. more features. Sure. But nowadays, uh, the AI features are, you know, very quickly mm. evolved. So oh, yeah. I think we can just, you know, uh, show you the more advanced technology in the very near future for our Toshiba TVs. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes, yeah, sure. Thank you for watching today. If you haven't subscribed this channel yet, please subscribe it. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.